What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, October the 11th. We're going to talk about um, nursing home today. And October is National Residence Rights Month. Did I get yes. that right? Okay. Yes, you did. Ann Bickle, Ann Bickle is with us. And Ann is with the Missouri Coalition for Quality Care. It's a nonprofit advocacy organization for recipients of long care, long-term care and those receiving care at home in the community. Uh, It states here that your mission is simple. You believe that Missourians need care, should receive good care. That's exactly right. Now, there is a difference between care and good care, and that's what the organization is trying to to, uh, advocate for. for. That's exactly right, Paul. Let's talk about going into a nursing home. This is a difficult decision to make for many, many people. What causes most people to be admitted to a nursing home? That decision is often made when a dis- when an event happens, when a cancer diagnosis is made, when a fall happens, when a heart attack happens. That's why we advocate for people to, when you have a loved one who is reaching the age where they might need care, that we ask people to become informed. There are lots of ways to look into what is available in your community. Uh, I'll tell you briefly what my sister and I did. Our mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And um, Mary Chance, who uh, was the head of an organization that I later went to work for, the Missouri Alliance for Home Care, had an event at the library. And it was talking about what's in the community that you could utilize for care for your uh, loved one. Well, one one is elder care. One is elder care. One is nursing homes. One is adult daycare. Uh, One is a home care aide. And we went to that. My sister and I went to that. And... I cannot tell you how helpful that was to us as our mother went through the stages of Alzheimer's. Um, We first, um, uh, well, first of all, my sister and I uh, took uh, care of our mother. Uh, I went every day after work. My sister came on the weekends, and then that progressed. We had to get a home care aide every day and I still went every day after work and my sister came every weekend but you know finally um, mother had to go to a nursing home you, you were no longer able to care for we her. we could no longer and and the way we knew that is mother's mother's refrigerator motor burned up and Sharon was there and she unplugged it but um, Mother was not able to recognize the fact that that refrigerator was about to catch on fire. And so we knew that Mother could no longer be trusted to be in the house right. by herself for any time at all. Right. So we had to look for a place for Mother. And, and those, are, those are really difficult. Difficult decisions. Very, very difficult decisions. I can tell you that was the hardest decision we ever made for our Mother. Yeah. But you did it with love. We did it with love. Now, when you're advocating for good care in nursing homes, what are you looking at? What does this organization look for? Do they inspect nursing homes? We uh, keep track of all the violations that come out. We look at, on our website, which is www 
mcqc.com. mcqc.com. Okay. We have um, a place on there that tells you what to look for when you're looking uh, for a nursing home. And it's easy to find on our new website. But you want to look at staffing. Uh, that is one of the most important things in a nursing home is how much staffing do they have? Missouri does not have staffing standards. So we encourage you to go to a nursing home you're considering. Go at all kinds times of the day. Um, go so to breakfast. check it out. Check sure. it out. Uh, go and check it out. Talk to people who you know have had a loved one at that nursing home. Uh, don't just go at noon. Uh, sure, they're going to have a lot of staff at noon. Um, go on a Sunday evening. That can you is, just can you go into a nursing just, home? You and, sure can. You can. And if they don't want you to come in, then there is something wrong with that. Okay. So yes. what you do is you go in and you check it out at different times yes. of the day. Yes. And if for some reason they say no then perhaps that's a red flag. That is a red flag. Yes, it is. Um, talk to f family and friends who've had someone in that nursing home. And uh, that is important, is to get uh, personal recommendations. Now, what about, you, you talk about home health care. That is available, too, yes, for it is. people. We, we had a wonderful home care aid. How does someone choose... Uh, home health care. You, there are organizations or companies that provide that. Once again, you don't always get a good one. We had a, we had a hit and miss before. We got a wonderful uh, home care aide. Her name was Sharon. She was with us for two years, and then um, had to leave for health reasons. And um, you have to sometimes show up during the day to, to see, see what's going on what goes, the, yes you do yes I, I i understand how that works show up because, during the day yes i when my we were taking care of my mother and when i was at work i had to have home health care yes uh come in and just stay with her and there's yes. different there's different levels you have some that are not able to give medication at that's all that's right yes. just to sit and be with the person that's right it depends on what you need yes but the thing is if you want more information on this you can check out the website for yes. the missouri coalition for quality care uh that is www.mcqc.com there's a a host of information a, on there. We have a lot. We have a brand new website that has a, a lot of good information on it. Okay. And I would encourage people to go to the website. Okay, and thank you so much for coming and chatting with us. Uh, those are difficult decisions that sometimes we have to make. Um, I, for myself, I hope I can just die in my house. Right? We so all do. One day I just keel over and that's it. And that's I don't what have to we all want. Things. All right. Thank you so much, Ann. Thank you, Paul. Something you'd like to hear or see, I'd love to hear from you. Drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. Bye-bye.